I would like to wish everyone a very happy Easter Sunday. I hope you are enjoying time with friends and family and loved ones, perhaps a nice meal here on the northeast coast of Florida. It is absolutely a spectacularly beautiful day. I would also like to thank those who have joined me over at Patreon, those who have signed up for the book drawing. You guys help me out more than you know. It has really changed my life. God bless every single one of you. In today's video, I would like to share a story that I've shared before, but put it together with a few other pieces of evidence to show that Florida is a very special place, especially this time of year. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard the stories, what they commonly refer to as myths of a fountain of youth. Well, it's more than just anecdotal evidence that makes people believe this. This is a painting from way back in the 15th century about what they envisioned the fountain of youth to be. It showed folks who were uh, older coming and um, getting undressed and getting into the fountain and bathing and coming out the other side feeling younger, and then there's a person directing them to where they can uh, get redressed and then go have a nice meal. This idea has been around for quite some time, and a lot of people think it's kind of hokey, but there's, like I said, more than just anecdotal evidence for this here in Florida. Not only are there historical stories, there are graves that you can go see here in Florida, especially in a place called Green Cove Springs, that show people living to almost 100 years old during the 16th and 17th century, which was unheard of back then. Now this picture's uh, painted by Lucas Cranach the Elder, and it hangs currently in Berlin in Germany. But when Menendez came to Florida, he began telling stories, stories pardon me, of the water somehow having medicinal properties to it. And a lot of people dismissed this. Ponce de Leon was largely credited with the discovery of the Fountain of Youth, but it was really Menendez that started this. This was 1565, right down the road from where I'm speaking to you from, up in St. Augustine, where they came and they proclaimed La Florida in the name of God, as opposed to the name of a king or the name of a ship's captain. Now, I'd like to share some other pieces of evidence. These are two people that are in my comments section regularly. On the left is a woman whose channel goes by the name Mick and Marley. And on the right, someone we've talked about before, Tim Bassett. Now, both of these people are older than I am, and I'm 52. And yet, when you go to their Instagrams and their YouTubes, you see people that look like they are 20 to 25 years younger. Now, this is just by itself one piece of evidence. But when you put that together with the stories from Menendez, the paintings from Europe... You start to see a picture, and I can tell you of my own personal experience. Coming here, having had injuries and arthritis from the military, having those things strangely go away and feel better now than I did years ago. You see, these are real folks. These aren't, these aren't models. A lot of people have come to me and said, Oh, Florida Maki, why do you show all the bikini models? It's easy to find. It's absolutely easy to find and on Google. Just Google Florida girls, bikinis, whatever you want to. But these are real, actual folks, real deal folks that live here, not very far away. And people would scratch their heads and go, wow, what's the secret? Well, Florida, there's something about it. And this is the final piece of evidence. This is a grave. There's a graveyard in a place called Green Cove Springs, Florida. And it's an old military graveyard, primarily. This individual, Lewis Wilford, born 1751, died 1849. 98 years old at that time. This person never saw soap. This person never saw toothpaste. 
or a toothbrush or an antibiotic ever imagine how long would you or I last without bathing without brushing our teeth without any kind of truly any pharmaceutical care whatsoever 98 years old now I just want to show just to give credit where credit is due this is Mick and Marley's Instagram all sorts of great and wonderful pictures works her butt off on a boat that she has and we've talked about um, this is a video of hers intro to Wild Child that's the name of her boat um, Tim Bassett um, this is Mick and Marley's YouTube she's got a ton of videos by the way I didn't realize she had this many, but she's got a ton of videos. Um, 28 subs, so maybe give her a, a like and a subscribe. But we've talked about Tim before. He doesn't have much on his YouTube channel, but he has a ton of stuff on his Instagram as well. And one of the things here is he shows this uh, workout routine. Real simple. doesn't require a lot of money or a lot of uh, investment. It's just uh, some heavy logs and a a pull-up bar in the backyard that looks like just a couple of maybe four by fours and you know some bars and a cross beam attached to it all sorts of great ways you can work out stay in shape and have the desire to you see and that's really the key having not only the uh, the ability to but the desire and the motivation to i think that's kind of another key of florida that there's just this joy that's gotten from going out and getting a good hard sweat going, working with the, the weapons. Of course, you know, dry fire or air. Oh, he says right here, all my equipment was handmade from scrap wood thrown out by others. Only purchased a bag of rock salt and a couple of ice screws. Just getting a workout in the backyard. He does this thing, the Patriot Games, where they go out and uh, test themselves. It's truly amazing. So when you put it all together, when you put everything together, you got your regular folks, you've got folks where you can go look at the grave, you can read history about it, and like I said, I can give you my own personal testimony about it. There's something down here that is different than other places that are just as warm, like, say, Southern California or Texas. There's something different about Florida. And I cannot necessarily say it's exactly this much of this or that much of that. It's just being here. It's just being here. It changes you in ways that you, you don't foresee. And it gives people a new lease on life. A new ability to um, relive or continue the youthful life and exuberance that we're all really truly commanded to have. Life more abundantly. I think that's really what Easter is all about. Life more abundantly. This is the abundant life. For sure. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be young you don't have to be famous this is very common and i just want to continue to share these over and over again because these are real folks down in the comment section you'll see them guarantee they're at my videos virtually every day if this doesn't motivate you i don't know what will i mean i put them side by side like this so that nobody can say i'm you know using one particular tactic or another. I know most guys of any age would love to look this good. With or without a shirt on. Same thing, I think, with the ladies. Like, this is pretty, uh... I'm sure some people would look at this dress and go, wow, is that normal? I'm like, well, you know, it's Florida. So, it's about joy. It's about happiness and being blessed. And I guess that's, if you could say one thing, Jesus would have wanted for us would be to have life and have it more abundantly. I'll leave it there. God bless. Have a happy Easter. 
Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.